Hey, everybody, Frank back here with you. Happy Thursday, everybody. Week's almost done. Today we bring you five Wonder Flavors candies. Hopefully you're not getting tired of them. Hopefully you're not getting cavities either, enjoying all these candies. We're going to talk about two of the brand new ones today. Plus, we're also going to talk about a classic. We got Dweeb Candy. But we're also going to talk about the Grape Candy and the Salmiac Licorice Salty. Two of the new ones. We have Pixie Stick Candy and we have Sesame Candy. So let's get through all these and I'll see you back up here. Let's go. All right, gang, here we go. We're going to start off with Dweeb Candy. <clears throat> They're almost kind of alphabetical order here, just going through lists. Uh, the warnings that contains acetone and acetylpropanol at 0 0.002, 0 0.001. Uh, for furral alcohol may cause cancer, 0.012%. That's what they're saying. It It's in there, but it's, you know, minor. Uh, let's see. We got Leilani says a classic sweet and slightly tart. Fruity rock candy from your childhood, surprisingly versatile, mixes well with most fruit and candy, can be used as a sprinkles type flavor with desserts. Uh, Nick Binding, shake and bake, mildly sweetened candy with a hint of grape, also has slight perfume waxiness on the end. He's not a big fan of it. Uh, let's see, Capri Sun esque, not nerds, hint of black cherry jelly bean. Slightly alcohol note. Spot on handful of mixed flavors. Could go higher, but not need unless mixed into a specific dweeb flavor. So not a whole lot of notes. Let's see. Common uses. Sweetener, of course. Sweetener, buttercream frosting, glazed donut, sweet and tart, cotton candy. You know, ethyl maltol, sour wizard. Sour, shisha, strawberry, and pixie stick candy. So not a whole lot of different things. We only have 12 public recipes for this flavor. And it's an older flavor. It's been out since 2017. And 358 private. Let's see. Joe Van Cleef used it in a frosted donut. Buttercream frosting used to be candy at 1. And one pair of glazed donut at 1.8. Juicy Fruit Dweebs, the most recent one. Uh, TFA Apple at three. Banana from Capella at four. Dweeb at three. Concord Grape from FA at six. And Sweet Strawberry at four. Uh, Berry Smash. Here's someone who looks like they're a Clemson fan. Jack's super sweet up to get right at the taste and like a little lower for this mix good shake and bake so it's super sweet to the half got bilberry blueberry extra boysenberry dweeb candy two and a half jammy berry raspberry from real flavors and shisha strawberry at two uh this i don't want to really know here too much let's check out one more dweeb of tang Apple candy, Bavarian cream, blue raz, ethyl maltol, double watermelon, dweeb candy at four, lemon lime, and red summer. Okay, let's see that. All right, now let's look at the new one. This is grape candy sour. Nothing on this one yet, just 3%. Used with uh, grape juice, five flavors, uh, jelly candy from Capella, bubblegum. Plum, lemon lime, pozzo, and lemonade. Okay. So not much to talk about on that one. The salmic licorice, same way. Being used with French vanilla, with orange cream, with vanilla ice cream, with orange tang, marshmallow creme brulee, sweetener, cookie crust gelato. I'm going to check one thing. I'm going to pause. All right. So sesame candy. One warning. 
0.912% for full alcohol. Notes on this one. Leilani, a sesame treat with a sweet sugary base. That's from Wonder Flavors themselves. Uh, let's see. Chapel mixed at three. Toasted sesame seed drenched in dark honey. Sweetness of the honey is so dark and rich that it borders a molasses. Commonly used with sweetener, honey roasted peanuts, honeycomb, kettle corn, caramel butter, popcorn, fluffy white candy, angel cake, vanilla cream extra, and macadamia nut. Only 12 public recipes on this one and 194 private. Let's see, lead pipe. Use this in sesame can, use DX peanut butter. Pistachio from TFA, salted caramel from Flavor West. Use this one at 0.5 and use super sweet 0.5 as well. We have Bonkers from Pippa, July 2019. Banana custard, banana flambe, FA caramel, honeycomb, DX peanut butter, sesame candy at 0.5 as well, and vanilla pudding. So she used it. Help boost up some of the other stuff. Creamy, crunchy goodness from Mary Beth used. She uses it at 0.3. Vanilla custard cheesecake, liquid barn ice cream, rice crunchies. So it's like a cereal type thingy. Uh, Tam uses it in cranberry popcorn bars. Bunch of notes on that. And here she uses Yumberry from Real Flavors, 0.75. Walnut Wonder Flavors, 1.5. Use the sesame candy at 0.5. Popcorn from Flavora. TFA Marshmallow and Cranberry from Capella. So you see, this flavor is mostly, even though it says it's a candy, it's used in different, many different ways. Let's see, here's somebody going after Folk Arts Reserve. We're using all wonder flavors. Use banana puree, banana butter pecan pie, uh, honey roasted peanuts, sesame candy at 0.5, sesame dough at 0.6, and vanilla custard at 0.8. All right, let's move on to pixie stick candy. Median is three. Median single flavor, three and a half. Let's see, we have. Chapel again. She mixed it three. Lovely medium weight flavor. Chalky sweetness with nondescript fruity undertone. Citric acid. Uh, super similar to candy stick candy with slightly more fruit taste. Similar to sweet and tart at 6%. Session Drummer says this one smelled good. About as perfect as it could now the bottle and testing it proved more of the same. A perfect pixie is about what you get with this one. Candy, sweet, tart, sour, all in there and lovely blended. Not overly sweet, just right in the middle. The, there are plenty of nondescript fruits in here, which are hard to nail down. But I did continue to get a grape pushing through. So at least it's identifiable. Grape was light enough and other nondescript enough. Yeah, you can easily push and pull this one different ways. So very versatile flavor. And he gives it 9 out of 10. Let's see. Nick Binding, sweet and tart flavor with notes of grape. So it sounds like grape is what a lot of people are saying about this flavor. Most commonly used with sweetener again. Or candy stick candy from one flavor is fizzy sherbet, which is like a it's not really like an American sherbet, it's more like a powder candy as well. Sweet candy from Capella, grape juice, grape soda, so they're pushing that grape notes. Powder sugar, blue ras, which plays well with grapes, blue ras, sour blue ras candy, and Fuji apple. Got 88 public recipes on this one, and 1225 one private. Let's see, Cloudy Mother Chucker has the top one here. Uses Flavor Re Revolution Grape Candy. Juicy Lemon. Use this at 
Uh, it must be measured by weight or something here. Wait, looks. Uh, R Rainbow Candy at eight. Rainbow Candy from Flavor West at one point three three, and Sweetener at wood. Let's see, Lead Pipe using an orange pixie candy, so he buried the grape. He's got three on the Blood Orange from Flavor West and two on Royal Orange Juice from FA with some sweetener. And use the Pixie Stick Candy at three. We have Lead Pipe again, watermelon with a touch of cheery pixie stick. Big watermelon with five, at five, picks the candy three and a half, red cherry, cherry from Mullenberry at one, and sweetener at a half. All right, gang, so not a whole lot going on there. Now let's go ahead and let's bust these two open and give them a sniff. And I might be able to at least have a rough idea of what we have going on with these. So I'm learning them as we go along, just like I'm sure everyone else is going to be. We'll see what a lot of the people, what their opinions are going to be in, with these new flavors here in the coming days and weeks. Get that purple tape there. Give it a shake. This is the licorice. Yep, it's black licorice. That's for sure. You get that anise note. It definitely smells like a black licorice. If you like black licorice, you're going to like that one. Now let's see what this sour grape candy smells like. Oh, you can definitely smell the malic acid to make it sour. And there's a candy grape there. So it's pretty spot on from off the sniff. I mean, we'll see when we start getting in some testing with them. But that's all we got. It's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow's payday for a lot of people. And the beginning of the weekend coming real soon. So that's what we got today, everybody. Thank you all for your support so far. I've enjoyed doing these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Hopefully, you, know, you can get something from them. Even if it's just entertainment, just some noise in the background. Maybe you get something out of it. That's, that's all I ask. All right, everybody. Be safe. And wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you on that next video. Bye, everybody.